Hello everyone, welcome to today's recording on the concept of eye information for NCA Level 1 Science, the Assets and Basis um, Standard. So the question that we are looking at today, or the concept that we're looking at today, is normally examined at the end of the year as an excellence question. Um, you might be coming here to the video you're like, I don't, I'm not going for an excellence, um, this might be too hard, but I'm telling you guys, at the end of the video, you will get the seven points from questions like this, okay? Um, like always, if you found this question, um, if you found the video useful, um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the like button, and um, share that with any other students that you may know that are struggling in science or in level two and level three chemistry, as I will be doing more um, recordings later on okay so let's get started with this particular question so first thing first um, before we do talk about the iron formation you know how why do atoms turn to ions the first thing I want you to look at is these things um, this is a period table that you get at the end of the year and these are the numbers that you get at the top of the columns these are called group numbers okay so the group numbers um, we say elements in the same group they have similar chemical reactivity so like all of these guys have similar chemical reactivity because they are in the same column why do they have the same chemical reactivity because they have the same number of outer shell electrons or same number of valence electrons so for example if i do the ones like say for lithium lithium is 2 1 sodium is 2 8 1 potassium is 2881 you're like where the hell did you get those so fast don't worry i'll go through those a little bit later can you see the last digit is always one which is the same as the group number if i pick fluorine fluorine is 27 chlorine is 287 um, and you can see the last digit of the group number is the same as the number of valence electrons because in chemistry we only care about the electrons because the electron movement is how the electrons interact with each other um, that results in chemical reactions so we are very interested in the number of outer shell electrons in an atom okay um, and at year 11 we need to know that because we need to know what sort of ion they become okay so let's have a look at um, let's go into the section that we're interested in let's do sulfur right, let's just pick an element so sulfur this is what you can see on the period table okay so s16 sulfur what does that 16 mean this 16 is a atomic number this tells me i have 16 protons and then i also have 16 electrons because the number of protons and electrons equal now this is and the protons are positively charged electrons are negatively charged okay very simple everyone can do that copy the number that's how many protons electrons you can you have um we used i used to do neutrons as well but then um, there's no point in nc level one because they um, no longer ask about isotopes but that doesn't matter i just tell people what are you writing with you're writing with a pen aren't you so this is protons electrons neutrons but we don't care about neutrons let's just focus about, uh, focus about pe um physical education one you know however you remember so that's 16 protons 16 electrons so how does it become an ion? Why do atoms become ions? Because they need to have a full outer shell. Now, how do we know if it has a full outer shell or not? We have to figure out the electron arrangement. Okay, so this is these things. Okay, this this is how we um, this is how we're going to show you how do we draw electron arrangement. The electron arrangement that you will need to know you need to do by the highest atomic number is this, which is calcium. I tend to use this analogy with people um, that don't really get, um, understand this. Um, we have to fill in the electrons from the lowest energy level to the highest energy level. You can think of it as, you know, because I used to take sports teams, think about if I want to take, a, uh, in the case of calcium, so there, there's 20 electrons. If I have 20 players for my football team, which is roughly right, um, I have to transport them from my school to another school to play games on the weekend and i have to get them there so how do i get 20 people across well i can take two people in my car but that's how many people i can fit in my car um because all the other gear has to go into my car all right i can't just play with two players i need more so i hire a school van 
the school van can fit eight people and that's not enough i have to hire another school van and you know book another school van and that's eight people and then we our school has run out of vans i still have two players that's left where did they go up oh, a parent volunteer i can chuck that two people in their parents car so this is how i can transport the 20 people across to the other side of the, the city um, and that's how you can fill up the electron shells with you know using the electron arrangement so the first you always go in this order you always go fill in the first shell first we can take a maximum of two and then the second shell fix can fill up to a maximum of eight um, third shell goes in up to a maximum of eight and then next one actually is 18 but we don't need to worry about that you just chuck whatever is in, um, that's left in there so you should never ever write anything like three one three four one that's just wrong okay you always first number is always two if you have more than two electrons then the rest go in the second one if you have more than that goes in the third one let's pick a really small atom i say if i do do um, be four beryllium four so that's only four electrons four protons four electrons so it's two two okay you don't just remember two eight but you told me the second number must be eight well i don't have more than 10 people do i i don't I only have four electrons so that adds up to four electrons okay so if we come back to here 16 electrons so that's going to be two in the first shell i have 12, 14 left eight goes the third second one i have six people left six electrons left i can just put them in the third shell so if you add that up that should be 16. okay now we need to look at the last number and to determine if this is a stable atom or not in this case the outer shell is not full so an iron is formed when an atom gains or loses electrons outer shell electrons to have a full shell so right now i have six electrons so what can i do i have two options i can either gain two to become two eight eight so the last shell is full or i can lose a six i can become two eight which this is now the outer shell and that's full and i've seen lots of people attempting this answer in the exam they just go well it's easier to gain two than losing six that's fine i mean that's how you can that's how you figure it out um so if that works for you you can remember it that way but i just go you know look at the number it's bigger than four than you know like five six seven eight and uh, not eight sorry five six seven you gain if it's one two three you lose but um, and lots of people go what about four well that's year 12 chemistry you can choose that as your options for next year then i'll teach you that um, but 286 um, so how many electrons do we have now so it's 288 and just do simple math how many electrons do i have now that's 18 electrons and the question i have next may sound a little bit tricky how many protons do i have okay so you can pause here and just think really quick um, we gained two electrons does it have any difference in, in, or any impact on the number of protons that we have? Absolutely not. 16 protons, still the same. Now, this is where you need to look. I have 18 electrons, 16 protons, so we have two electrons extra. Okay, this is just in your head, okay? So what does that mean? I have two more negative electrons. I have two more negative electrons than positive protons and positive protons what does that mean that mean i had that means the sulfur ion has a minus two charge because you have two more negative electrons than protons how do we know that right here and this is how you figure it out and then you may be someone sitting here like what the heck i know all this already you taught me nothing new well this is what I tend to, I mean, do this for a living, um, you know, to help people get really good results and, you know, and understand science better. Um, one way to do well in the exams is to read the questions, okay? I'm sure all of you can um, understand why elements form minds. So why do elements form minds? Um, I'm not going to write down because as you can see, my handwriting is not the best. Um, so an atom, okay, so if you want to, write this down you can so an iron is when an atom gains or loses outer shell electrons to have a full outer shell to become stable so the key word that we're looking for is gain oh, not that one is gaining or losing electrons 
again or lose electrons to have a full outer shell body uh, outer shell body outer shell um, to have a full outer shell and what does that mean you have a stable atom so these are the key words that we're looking for okay so make sure you talk about those okay so just repeat that sentence again an ion is when an atom or an, an atom gains or loses outer shell electrons to have a full outer shell to become stable okay that's what they tend to do now this is where a lot of people miss out on explain the charges on both ions in terms of the electron arrangement of the atoms and ions number of protons and number of electrons and charge so if you miss out on any of the things i tend to i just wrote down you would will not get the excellence and i'll give you a really good example of someone that would miss out on the excellence miss out on seven points um you know maybe ended up missing on excellence overall there may be someone that's really you know understand the concept 100 percent, and they would have just talked about yep um it has a direct like say for sulfur for example it has the electron arrangement of 2a6 it gains two electrons to have a full outer shell it now it's 2a8 um therefore it, because it gained two electrons therefore it has a negative two charge therefore it says two minus okay if you if you are someone thinking like that oh i've answered everything that's fine well i'm sorry in the end of the year you're not going to get excellence because you well me pretending to be the student didn't talk about the number of protons okay so you need to go through every single thing i've seen a lot of people bring highlighters into the exam do that you know highlight these keywords at the end of the you know just give it a take i've done this i've done this i've done this but you know if you use my method this wouldn't be a problem let us just pick some random element why don't we pick chlorine chlorine 17 and sodium 11. now so if i if the question is all right so why do chlorine and sodium they form ions of different charges and you answer you should why these elements form ions so why how why do chlorine atoms form ions because they want to gain lose out of, uh, you know the sentence i talked about just now but this is what you need to do what i strongly recommend every single one of you to do to miss to avoid missing out on some really really easy points that you would have got um if you read the question properly okay so 17 so what does that mean that means i got 17 protons 17 electrons what's the seven what's 17 electrons what, what what does that mean to me well that's 2a7 you know 17 2 plus 8 plus 7 17 electrons hmm that 7 is not full what should i do now i should gain one electron shouldn't i to have a full outer shell to become stable so it's going to be 288 how many electrons do i have now i have 18 electrons i have 17 protons that means i have one more negative electron than positive proton therefore therefore the charge is negative one okay so obviously don't if you want to secure the excellence don't just do what i just did here because that wouldn't be enough you still need to write a short paragraph just to explain you have 17 protons 70 you, you pretty much is explaining what we just did but i want you to do this because if i was marking this exam i can find a lot of evidence already let's just read this explain the charges on in terms of electron arrangement of atoms that's the electron arrangement of atoms the iron right here number of protons right here right here number of electrons right here right here and the charge right here why is that charge because i have one more negative proton than uh, one more negative electron than proton everything is there you just need to write a paragraph to, just to summarize it make sure you cover the top bit as well and then that's your e7 okay so how long would this take you you know the thing that we just did that would take you one minute max and seven points i mean don't get me started on how this how the standard works but that seven points if you know how to do this you are 95 percent passing already and if you can remember anything else from the standard you got four credits okay so um so hopefully this is if you if you're struggling especially chemistry it's not it's not rocket science you know, if, you know we talk making rockets um, you know explosions in chemistry but this is not difficult 
this is fundamental chemistry okay so if we do sodium i'll just speed up the process sodium has 11 protons um 11 electrons i know that the 11 that tells us that 11 hmm 11 people so first two then a then one hold on a sec that that's not one uh, that's not four so what do i do i lose one electron so that's two eight because i lost that one what's the electron arrangement now it's two eight how many electrons 10 electrons how many protons 11 protons because the number didn't change therefore i have one more positive proton than negative electrons so therefore the charge is positive one okay so there you go so this is a very typical question that you get at the end of the year worthwhile to practice using my method okay because i i can guarantee you because i mean you, you, if you've done recently done the school exam and um especially at my school we would have marked you down on this because this is what we um this is what they do at the end of the year examination marking okay so hopefully this video has been um, helpful to you um the next year 11 video i'll do is talking about the ionic compound ratio again a very tricky question to do a lot of people miss out on the excellence part um, a lot of people just leave it blank um, but i'll go through that part next um, for the next year 11 video and then i'll probably do some physics and probably do some genetics after that okay so like always if you enjoyed the, the content subscribe smash the like button and um, share that with um, anyone that you know okay and i'll see you guys next time take care bye, -bye.